Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of our demo. This one is all about the day of surgery. I am Ben Yehuda, and if you saw the previous parts, you already know that Qflow OR helped us to plan the day of surgery, that the surgery request process covered all possible pre-operative validations for surgery to be performed. So here we are, watching our whole platform on D-Day, being the OR manager, or anyone on staff overseeing the OR flow. It's a high-level view of multiple OR sites in one hospital. Each line here shows us the different operating rooms per the room numbers, and there are a variety of icons which indicate the status of each room. Rooms 18, 5, 25, and 26 are available now. In the green ones with the scissors icon, there is currently a surgery ongoing. This icon here shows us an operation is about to end. And also, the cleaning of each OR at the exact right time is managed. This icon shows us cleaning is required in room 13, while cleaning is still in progress in rooms 12 and 4. Now, for high resolution details, I'll enter the site labeled as the main OR. Now we see more than the status of each operating room. We can scroll to view as many rooms as needed, and the orientation is very simple. It was designed so in one look, at the blink of a snapshot, any OR manager will be able to understand where it truly stands, what is urging, and what is naturally, mostly, taken care of automatically. So from the top, the status of each operating room is presented, including the time that has elapsed since this stage started. Then in the block below, we see the details of the surgery that takes place now. We can see that it's one of two surgeries planned for today. Then in bold, the department which is responsible for the surgery, the name of the patient, the procedures performed listed, all the way to the exact current stage of surgery. In this case, it's the anesthesia starting. In the same room also indicated the information for the next surgery expected. We have below real-time information allowing to fairly estimate if this is on course as planned. And if not, the system triggers alerts. Like here, we see that the patient had arrived to room 4 and is still lacking approval of both the nurse and the surgeon. So both of them are expected to get a text message to attend room 4 and perform their checklist for approving the patient for the upcoming procedure. Before we continue, this icon here means that we still lack the dose for the blood transfusion from the blood bank. Now, watch this in action. Variety of interfaces progress the flow. It's mostly automatic, except for the input we collect from the sanitation team as they start and finish with each room. And also the actual intake is managed with seamless interface to the hospital's IT ecosystem. Having all this orchestration in place generates excellent ROI. I encourage you to check out the use case of QflowR at Chiba Hospital. Thank you. That was our demo.